Now, I know that the left and all the little gatekeepers on Twitter become literally hysterical if you use the term replacement, if you suggest that the Democratic Party is trying to replace the current electorate, the voters now casting ballots, mm. with new people, more obedient voters from the third world. But they become hysterical because that's, that's what's happening, actually. Let's just say it. That's mm. true. Mm. If, if, look, mm. if this was happening in your house, if you were in sixth grade, for example, and without telling you, your, kid, your parents adopted a bunch of new siblings and gave them brand new bikes and let them stay mm. up later and help them with their homework and gave them twice the allowance that they gave you, you would say to your siblings, you know, I think we're being replaced by, by kids that our parents love more. And it would be kind of hard to argue against you because look at the evidence. So right. this matters on a bunch of different levels, but on the most basic level, it's a voting rights question. In a democracy, one person equals one vote. If you change the population, you dilute the political power of the people who live there. So every time they import a new voter, I become disenfranchised as a mm. current voter. So I don't mm. understand why you don't understand this. I mean, everyone wants to make a racial issue out of it. Ooh, the you know, white replacement theory. No, no, no. This is a voting rights question. I have less political power because they're importing a brand new electorate. Why should I sit back and take that? Of course, you're not working to import as many new citizens as we can in the United States to replace all the disobedient ones who didn't vote for us. In other words, you're being replaced and there's nothing you can do about it. So shut up. The great replacement theory, it's a lie, they yell. George Soros has nothing to do with that. Stop talking. They said we were espousing something called the great replacement theory, a well-known racist fantasy. The great replacement. They acknowledge that it's real and they love it. This policy is called the great replacement, the replacement of legacy Americans with more obedient people from faraway countries. The great replacement plan is working.